it was an era, a golden era, where creativity and ideas were flowing all over the place. It's an era not to be repeated, unfortunately. It was based on the openness that this society is, is based, has as their fundamental principles. Ethics, open, shared, free, trusted. Well, it was magnified by the players. The ARPA program managers, basically, they looked at long-range funding, high risk, high payoff, large funding supplies, program managers that were brilliant and had a limited term, so they had no agendas that they, that they would bring into the party which could affect long term. And in fact, they didn't interfere with the studies. The principal investigators who were responsible for the research took a very relaxed attitude. They allowed their researchers to do what they needed to do. They didn't dominate them. They allowed the graduate students to blossom and show their creativity. And thankfully, the graduate students did their thing, and they organized themselves into working groups, into cross-university efforts. And the underlying technology itself had the same flavor, a distributed control technology. Nobody was in charge. It was all, bring what you can, think about it well, and we'll put it together. Because we trust each other, we're going to share. It's all going to work together. So that environment was a key issue in bringing about the successful internet we have today. That was the magic. That was the magic that's not often talked about, but is back there in the history that we're celebrating today.